Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, iterated design pattern implementation. I will explain uh, class diagram and I will show you the sample code. Before watch this video, please log into my channel and watch iterated design pattern introduction where I have explained uh, what is iterated design pattern, how to use, etc. So please watch that video tutorial and then come and watch this video tutorial so that you will understand uh, very clearly. Okay, now we will see a class diagram of uh, iterated descent pattern. Mm, this is the class diagram. Uh, right side you can see iterator. Uh, it's a base class or interface. Uh, and it contains a next and has next method. And uh, concrete iterator uh, which implements uh, this iterator interface uh, which, which will provide uh, implementation of uh, next and has next method. And the left side uh, top you can see aggregate interface. It has uh, iterator method. And uh, this aggregate interface will be implemented by concrete uh, aggregate. And it provide implementation of uh, this iterator method. Uh, next we will see what is aggregate, what is concrete aggregate, what is iterator, what is concrete iterator. Okay, one by one. So aggregate is nothing but uh, it's a base class or interface of all our uh, data structure. Uh, example of aggregate is uh, collection. So data structure meaning uh, it's like array list, vector, hash set, uh, etc. Okay. And uh, it has uh, iterator method. Okay. And next we will see concrete aggregate. So example of uh, concrete aggregate is uh, array list or hash set or vector etc. Uh, which implements uh, this collection uh, interface okay so it has uh, iterator method uh, and uh, this iterator method will be implemented uh, properly to provide the concrete uh, iterator okay next we will see uh, iterator it's a base class or interface for all iterators so example of uh, iterator is java.util.iterator okay and uh, this iterator interface will be implemented by concrete uh, iterator so what is uh, concrete iterator okay uh, so we will see the explanation as you want to traverse different data structures you need different iterators so what is the meaning suppose if you are uh, tra traversing a uh, uh, through the array list you need one kind of iterator uh, like that if you are tra traversing uh, through the hash set we need another type of iterator which can traverse through the hash set so the iterators will be differ uh, different if you are traversing uh, in array list and if you are traversing in hash set um, suppose if you are uh, traversing in array list uh, the iterator we can use is java util abstract list iterator okay suppose if you are uh, traversing in hash set then uh, we can use uh, java util hash map uh, key iterator okay so that is what it is mentioned so the iterators will be different based on the data structure so next uh, this one is so a concrete uh, uh, iterator is an iterator for the data structure you want to traverse okay so this concrete iterator will be different for different kind of uh, data structure if if you are using array list we have to use one kind of iterator to traverse through the array list if you are uh, using set we have to use another kind of iterator which can traverse through the hash set okay and uh, next uh, before that okay so here you can see uh, concrete aggregate which creates a concrete iterator so if you call this iterator method it provides a concrete iterator that's what it is meaning okay and next we will see the sample code of uh, iterator design pattern i will open eclipse and i will show you so i have uh, created iterator design pattern demo class and it has uh, main method so first what we are doing is we are using array list data structure okay 
so in that array list uh, array list uh, data structure we are adding a list of uh, countries okay so have added uh, four countries india us uh, japan and france and uh, next uh, we are calling list of countries dot iterator so we want to uh, traverse uh, in uh, traverse through your array list in a sequential manner and uh, get all the elements one by one so for that uh, we are calling iterator method in the array list okay and uh, this method will provide iterator so next i am printing uh, iterator type for uh, data structure array list just printing the iterator type okay then uh, iterator has uh, uh, methods like hash nest and next so the hash next will uh, return boolean uh, if uh, uh, if element is there uh, next element is there it will return true if next element is not there in the collection it will return false uh, so based on that uh, looping through that uh, array list and uh, getting uh, element one by one by calling the next method of uh, iterator and uh, i'm getting country name one by one and uh, displaying here okay uh next like that uh, i create a data structure of uh, set asset okay so in that i am adding uh, countries india us japan and france uh, so data structure of uh, array list will be different from data structure of asset okay uh, there are some differences there array list uh, uh, array list uh, we can put the elements in sequential order but set uh, it won't be in sequential order okay and uh, array list uh, will allow uh, duplicate values but uh, set won't allow duplicate values so the data structure is completely different okay uh, here once i added a set of countries uh, i'm trying to get uh, iterator object uh, by calling iterator method of uh, asset okay so it provides iterator so using that iterator i am just uh, looping through that uh, uh, countries and I am displaying the country name. Okay, you will see the output. Uh, we will just run the project application. So you can see iterator type for data structure array list is this one. Okay, same way uh, I printed data structure for asset. So it uh, so that iterator type is. Uh, type of array list is completely different from it. Uh, iterator type of uh, asset that you can see it here. It is array list abstract list iterator. This is hash map uh, key iterator. Okay. So if you are if you are traversing through array list, uh, we have to use abstract list iterator. And if you are traversing to hash asset, we have to use hash map key iterator. So using that uh, we are just iterating and printing that elements you can see here okay and like i told uh, array list uh, we can store the object in uh, ordered manner but in uh, set uh, it won't be in ordered manner you can see uh, here india us japan and france i added right so in the array list you can see it is displayed in the proper order whatever ordered we have added but uh, set it is not like that i ordered uh, i added uh, uh, india us japan and france in that order but you can see output uh, france us japan and india so order is uh, it is not in proper order okay so that is a main difference and uh, this and uh, we will see class diagram again okay and uh, yeah this is about uh, iterated design pattern and uh, i have put uh, all my uh, sample code in uh, ramj2e blackspot.in uh, so you can uh, log into this blackspot and get the sample codes okay and uh, this is about iterated design pattern implementation and thanks for watching bye